One day at the end of a workshop, a teacher came up and said, Dr. Jean, I like your old fashioned style of teaching. Well, you know what, it might be old fashioned, but it still works for children. And the more time they spend in front of a screen, the more they need these hands-on activities, like the little flannel boards I'm gonna share with you today. Now, you can buy a flannel board, or look what happens if you staple the sides of a file folder, glue felt to the front, you've got a perfect little flannel board. And the advantage of something like this is, then you can store the pieces inside here when you're finished. And like this one with a finger play, you can put the words to the finger play on the back so it looks like you know it you're just reading it off the back as you're doing it with the kids. This one, five little hot dogs. Five little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. How many are there now? Four little hot dogs frying in the pan. The grease got hot and one went bam. How many are there now? So um, you've got different combinations of five and subtraction and uh, many different skills that you're teaching with this in addition to oral language. Uh, another thing that you can do with finger with um, flannel boards is make story pieces from some of the stories the children read. One of the standards children have a difficult time with is retelling a story. That's because we don't give them enough opportunities to practice retelling a story in an informal way. So um, like after you read The Little Red Hen, you could make cutouts of the characters and put Velcro on the back and then they could practice retelling stories. Uh, another great idea for oral language and storytelling, a uh, teacher shared with me, she put Velcro on the back of her children's photographs and put them on a flannel board. And the kids love to take their friends and make up stories with them. But their favorite person on the flannel board was her. She made a little uh, flannel board piece of herself. And she said they used to love to take it and say, you sit down now. Now you get over here if you want to hear what you sound like. Do that. I think this would be good at the beginning of the year. Um, if you made some little characters with the photographs of your principal, school secretary, custodian, PE teacher, and some of your other uh, specialists around your school. So, um, one other flannel board idea. This one is just um, made with felt pieces. I've got felt uh, triangles and circles and squares and all sorts of different geometric shapes cut out. And the children can just uh, explore with them, but then they can also put them together and try to create some objects. And I think that's one of our standards is that they can take these shapes and create different things out of them. You could even ask them to draw what they created and that way you get some motor skills going. So um, have fun with these old fashioned flannel boards. You might be surprised how much your children like them.